Welcome to Ngare Ndare Mix and Boarding Secondary School located at Ngare Ndare location in Meru County, Bori constituency. This school started in the year 2011 with enrollment of only 56 students in Form 1. During the school academic day which was held on 26 May 2023, where parents, school alumni, BOM members, political leaders and the school sponsors where we have Lewa Conservancy, Borana, Sam Limo Foundation and Garindari Forest Trust also attended a school academic day. Here is the school principal, Madam Frida Marangu, giving us the history of the school since it started. That is uh, why always when I'm, I'm giving the history of the school, I recognize those uh, people that started it. Uh, 2011, and uh, it started with an enrollment of 56 students in Form 1. And of course, with new schools, they come in, uh, leave to other schools. And uh, the school has grown to a population of uh, 385 uh, students up to now. From 2011, 56 students, I remember I came in the year of 2014, uh, February, I was handed over uh, 87 number of students. And I'm very, very proud that within those years, there are very many, of course, around 11 years, the school has grown to that population. So over the years, uh, the school population uh, uh, soaring to 385 students in the year 2023 and uh, in the government capitation we receive around uh, 375 uh, students, a capitation of 375 students. Sometimes we have uh, one or two issues uh, to make sure that the school population and the uh, capitation uh, move and that. Uh, it is a school with an uh, double stream from form one to form four. So all the classes are two, two classes that we name them from, uh, from east and from west. Uh, the school also has a population of 20 teachers, I said again. And uh, that is our CBE, um, but uh, we have uh, just 11 uh, teachers out of the 20 teachers that are employed by the Teachers Service Commission. So the balance, 20 minus 11, that is the nine teachers, um, they are uh, supported by the BOM uh, management. Uh, it is a big uh, strain uh, to the school and for that reason I request our <coughs> chief guests, our area MP, to look into that so that we settle down and assist this huge population of the students. So we have um, a shortage of nine uh, teachers and now we wish we could get those nine teachers so that we can curb the entry and exit of the teachers. Sometimes uh, when uh, announcement or when the uh, teachers are recruited, every time we lose around two or three students, who are, uh, teachers who have been uh, uh, preparing our candidates. And in fact, that is... Uh, a very, very serious issue concerning Garidari. Um, the school has a good infrastructure and I can quickly go through what we have as a school. We have one, a science laboratory that is equipped, but it is only one. In a population like this one, we need three science laboratories to take care of the three subjects.
that is biology, chemistry, and physics. So we are really congested. That lab cannot accommodate or close to 400 students. Um, we have one staff room. When it was constructed, I think I found I was only the TSC teacher and few others. There were six teachers who were teaching the, the seven students. So we have grown from six teachers to 20 teachers. And for that reason, our one staff room is too small. In fact, uh, we have created a temporary room in this still uh, small uh, staff, uh, sorry, laboratory where few teachers are accommodated. So, uh, in short of uh, enough staff room. We also have offices, and I thank Lewa uh, Conservancy. They constructed a good offices, but still we are saying because the school is growing, we also would wish an extension of uh, the administration block. Uh, we have struggled with the literal resources in school. We do a lot of saving and the school has been able to construct uh, tiny houses for the teachers and we have eight of them accommodated in school. And even the principal as uh, an accommodation and a good house. Uh, we also have uh, two dormitories, uh, one with the capacity, it was supposed to accommodate eight students, but currently we are around one or six uh, holding uh, uh, facility capacity, and uh, we have housed one or six uh, girls. We will officially open another uh, dormitory today. It is uh, almost complete. We are doing the final touches, but uh, we are lacking bents in that dorm. So we have only constructed the structure. The inside is not uh, yet done. We also have a social, and I'm sorry that uh, dormitory, it was constructed through the money from the government, the, from RMI. So it is that money that we are given, we have been able to combine those resources and construct uh, a good uh, dorm. We also have a kitchen, a small one. Maybe if you find time, you go around. That kitchen is also not enough. The sufurias have increased, and we have constructed one Mabati uh, kitchen that can accommodate Ambiga sufuria. So in, in short, everything in Garedari is not enough because of uh, that rapid uh, We also have nine classrooms. We are intending next year to assist in a 100% transition. Next year we are intending to have three streets in Form 1, and I am very sure that dream will come true. Um, our chief guests, Area MP, and Kiri, I really thank the neighbors of this group and especially the Maasai community. This population you see here is not uh, Garidari, uh, all of them are not Garidari students. We have people from Rukusero, we have people from Sanga, we have students from Tarefs, Dondo, uh, we have joined their relatives and I'm very happy more than willing to accommodate uh, their relatives because they find this a suitable place to be. So we are uh, again intending, because of that, to construct a dome for the boys.
so that we also take care of the boy child. We are forgetting this very important uh, sex, the boy child, they are our brothers. Um, we engage uh, maybe uh, support or we, we get savings because we have banned some few livestock that we can get milk. We also um, have layered pigs. Sometimes we slaughter to the neighbors, they buy. We have uh, rear sheep and goats. So those are some of the areas we utilize. They are our ranch, which is around 20 acres. Our only challenge is water. If we are given enough of the water, someone saying this place is green, you find fruits all over. In fact, uh, I remember I received a call to receive some uh, fruits, ash tree. I don't know what happened. I re I'm requesting your office if we get those ash trees, we need to uh, plant them from the far end up to the uh, farthest end of our uh, our fence. We would really admire this compound to be full of fruits, um, avocados, we have passion fruits, uh, right um, behind we have sugarcane that we give our students and uh, with that little effort we would want support if we can get um, enough of the water of the water and for that reason if we can get uh what do we call it mbao that will do wonders to garizan and we have even our teachers you find them uh with pangas trying to plant uh seedlings after taking uh pow pow you find teachers wanting to plant that seedling without minding when you leave the school we don't care we plan for the other people that will come after, after us. Otherwise, uh, maybe they talk of the display, we can't complain. Our students have a commendable uh, uh, discipline and the academic progress is very, very impressive. And students, we can't take that for granted. We thank you all and uh, continue with that same, same, same. Uh, this school, in the year 2014, we started with seven students qualified and go to the university. And I think a number of them completed. And uh, some are teachers. I think we have creative officers and what have you. Um, and we are proud of them. Um, this day, okay, we are going to award 27, uh, sorry, 24 university qualifiers, and uh, we are really very, very proud of them, especially year 2020, when we had the most students qualifying to go to the university. And uh, these are the people who have made and uh, today a success and uh, boys and girls today you are referred to as uh, ladies and gentlemen at the corner there we are very very proud of you and just as we have been told by Finley go and go um, we are very sure uh, next time we'll be having such a meeting we call them and we form um, Garidari alumni and the students I think you can see we have a good number of them so if you thought these are lesser school you have seen for yourself sawa sawa yes if they have made it why not you so use all the necessary uh, resources 
the apprentice maximize on them. Otherwise, to our dear donors, this school would not be the way it is if it were not of you. We uh, recognize uh, donors like uh, Ewa, Conservancy, and those are the main um, partners. They have really assisted this school, and uh, we I don't know the ones we can use uh, to give to our uh, donors. We have Lewa Conservancy, Borana, Sam Erim Foundation, and uh, not forgetting uh, the political leadership of our area MP. I think, uh, Mueshimiwa, you have done great in the side of education. Everyone appreciates your work. Right from, I remember the time you took us to a meeting at uh, Timau Roach, where uh, you gave us a video of the state of our schools. And I think you, uh, it is good you call us again and give us the current state of our schools. Especially on the side of the toilets. Before, uh, I think they were in pathetic condition. But uh, you go to primary schools, you go to secondary schools, you find a uh, very, very nice um, infrastructure. So, Wanarindikiri, congrats and continue in the same spirit in the sign of uh, education. Asante Nisana, uh, we have uh, in absentia Rekipia North and invited the area MP. They have also assisted as a lot, especially in uh, allocation of the ambassadors. Our students have really benefited on the other side. We also um, have benefited from um, our area, the, uh, our next uh, MCA, Buana Shue. I think Shue has a um, big number of students that he supports, and we can't fail to honor that kind of support. And uh, we request Buana Shue, you keep it up. Uh, last and not the least, uh, let me really appreciate our Ministry of Education, especially our sub-county office, Buanandeto. Uh, Buanandeto is a friend of this school and a friend to all the schools in our sub-county. Indeed, um, this office has really assisted this school in very many ways. And uh, Buanandeto, uh, we really, really appreciate it. Right from even assisting us in completing our CBC classrooms. He prayed and great law, and we are very sure of his support even as we continue. To our guests and visitors, we have no want to express ourselves. Keep on visiting this school. Don't wait to be caught. Doors are open. Karibuni, karibuni, every time. And uh, we are proud of you. To our dear parents, this school cannot be a school without you. You have entrusted us uh, with your children. Some of you come from very far. Um, and uh, I know, I know the trust that we have for us will not let you down. We are working day and night to ensure that our students get the best. And for sure, we are very, very dedicated teachers that uh, even when I'm not in school, I know people are working. Not only the teachers, but to all the staff secondary school. In fact, if there is any proud person, it is me. I am supported by everyone. 
without forgetting our BOM members. I think I sometimes listen to other uh, principals talk and uh, sometimes I keep quiet. I don't want to share. But uh, let me say I have received great support from all the stakeholders and more so to our BOM members. Uh, keep it up. Staki kusifu sana. Jiwa muone kama munafanya kitubaya. But I really appreciate all your support. Uh, parents and our students, uh, this is our great day. Um, listen and listen keenly to what is uh, being said in this gathering. All that we are saying, or all what we are saying, it is for you uh, to make you better. Very soon, you move from this side to the other side. This gentleman standing here, I'm very, very proud of you. It is the other day. He was a student in this school. Is it 20, 2019. And you can see. So it is possible. It is possible if you dedicate uh, to work. Otherwise, uh, with those, those few remarks, I say, may God bless you. Asante sana.